Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Salamat o Diyos sa biyat, kalakasan, sa maghapon o Diyos, patuloy na patnubayan mo ko ng iyong banal na Espiritu o Diyos. Hallelujah, glory to God. Panginoon, ikaw magsang maglaan sa pangilangan ko, Lord. Patnubayan mo lagi ang aking mga mahal sa buhay o Diyos, sa aking trabaho, sa pangaraw-araw. Glory to God. Thank you. helpers in Hong Kong certainly are part of the lifestyle. You, you almost can't live here without one. It really does help you in the house with, when you're taking care of children, especially when the kids are young. It frees you up from far more playtime with the kids. You don't have to do all the domestic chores like laundry and picking up after the children. You, you really get the best, the best of your kids because you have somebody helping you in the house. She brings me to school, she picks me up from school, she carries my bag, she puts it in the car. If I make a mess, she'll clean up after me. You know, the availability of domestic helpers made it easy to get one. In fact, we often had two, a mother-daughter team and or friends. Um, you know, it's somebody to do the chores that we don't like to do. It frees up more time for social life in Hong Kong. I would have to clean my room and I would have to carry my own bag and I would have to pack my bag and make my lunch for school and I don't want to do that. Hi, I'm Marjorie Mundana. I'm 44 years old and uh, I came from Philippines and I'm working here in Hong Kong as a domestic helper. It's hard to leave my family in the Philippines, to work here and abroad, or in Hong Kong. But it's really hard to stay in the Philippines, to find a job, if you have no degree, because my grandparents cannot afford to pursue me in college. So I decided to work in abroad for a domestic helper. I'm very inspired to earn money just to help them and then just to build the house and just give them a good uh, life. But now if my father is died, uh, it's hard for me to go back first because I didn't accept to stay here, accept my father's life. In Hong Kong, um, the churches are their support system. So that's what they're, you know, they live in a foreign country without their families, and the church uh, gives them a feeling of a sense of belonging. And so, you know, it's very lonely to be working abroad without uh, your loved ones. So when they go to church, that where, you know, they meet their friends there, um, you know, they have activities there, and they feel that they have, you know, they belong. You know, it's a happy place for them, and also um, when they have problems, some of the churches also provide them advice and you know what to go, what to do. So it's basically their support system away from home. In Philippines, we can we can eat, we can sleep anytime we can want, we can eat what I want, we want. But here, because it's different, because we are work here under the contract under the employer so we need to follow them and then we need to suffer to sacrifice uh, the problems uh, involve uh, physical abuse we have had cases where domestic workers have been raped or physically assaulted by employers a lot of them are not uh, granted their statutory rest days under the law and under the, the contract they're entitled to one rest day every seven days, but a lot of them would only be granted, uh, for example, two rest days a month, or one rest day a month, and not even, you know, some, some of them not even given rest days uh, for several months. You can see uh, in every place in Hong Kong, like flyover under the Hong Kong bank, some place that can sitting and then like park or just behind the street because they are only because uh, some like that is not allowed in their the employer not allowed in the room to stay 
So they need to go out just to relax. But sometimes it's difficult if like winter, it's very cold outside. They are only like box, make like housing of box. If we can see that in the flyover, some Filipino like that. And just sitting there just to spend the whole day of their holiday. And then later on go back. Sometimes some Filipino have, <clears throat> it's a terrible experience in the whole week with employer. So that is always every Sunday have like that routine sharing, chatting, laughing, sometimes some crying, crying, so the, per the problem of the family, her husband, other woman, like that. Sunday is the special day for us, being a domestic helper here in Hong Kong, and that is our, in the one week, it's so hard to work, but in one day, we can have all the one week, uh, very difficult, it's hard time but in one day sunday is a very it's like a charging again to so because you can see and meet some friends and people that you love to to release your homesick and then tired in one week of job so i realized that in my 11 years working in hong kong at my age of 44 years in my life god will handle my life because that is uh, very important to me is to be strong, have faith in God, and be continued. Life must go on, continuous life, continuous dream, struggle and fight for my life and for my family and for myself. <laughs>